lots of exciting upgrades planned for this thing. First, we gotta figure out what happened to the diff, because we kind of blew it up. Right now, it's not engaged at all, so I can't just spin it and see what's going on. As I suspected, well, this differential is <coughs> oof. Oh. So we could probably get a new ring gear and rebuild it, but I think at the end of the day, it probably wouldn't be that much cheaper than getting a new one. There's some metal soup down here. Mmm. This thing is called the Sprag Clutch, and it's what makes it a limited slip, fancy locking differential thing. That's broken, obviously. That's what all these little balls are from. They go in there like that. Yeah, properly Shreked, in other words. Is just because of all the extra weight, you think, or in the front? I mean, it, uh, it's partly that, but these are just, they're not known for being very strong. Oh, I, uh, I was just cleaning this up a little bit, getting the excess oil out of it, and I flipped it over. That might be a problem. Ah. That's where these uh, little pieces of ring gear left the chat and then went there. <laughs> yeah, so that's a definitely, we need an entirely new diff. We need a housing and everything. I just spent half of the day digging around on the internet and forums just to try and find an upgraded version of this differential. This particular Ranger model, specifically the 800 six by six, use this differential, which spins the other direction from all of the good ones. So for now, we'll just order a factory replacement, we'll throw it in there, and then, you know, maybe I'll magic up some way to make it better later, but $950 later. <laughs> that was an expensive test drive yesterday. While we're waiting for parts to show up, I'll go ahead and build a skid plate um, and sort of a subframe thingy up here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a bar, a tube across here um, between these two toe points because they're very strong and solid to weld to, which will also protect all the like wiring and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but it'll still hide behind the stock bumper. And I thought about building like a metal bumper or something, but I kind of like it looking like a totally factory uh, Mitsubishi mini cab. pieces of angle iron here, which I think will actually work really well for the skid plate rails um, because they'll be flat on the bottom to mount to and you could get the nuts up on top here and all of that, uh, but they'll still be plenty strong. So I think I'll mount those kind of like that-ish. And just like that, we got some supports for our skid plate. A winch should still fit up in there. Plenty of extra space. In theory. I found a piece of fire truck. Oh, and then I just dumped dirt into my face. That looks good. There's a skid plate. Something like that. Hey, it's already pre-painted. That's also another reason to use the grinder instead of the plastic cutter, because the, the grinder does make a little bit of paint dust. The plastic cutter just melts all of the paint and turns it into nice, lovely vapor. Mmm, good for the lungs. I'm just drilling and tapping it because it's fairly thick. And also with this many bolts, you know, 
each bolt doesn't have to really hold that much. They're just holding it from flopping around, really, so. They're all spaced right. It had to be. Got them all packed. Now I can. Yeah, these ones are just kind of at a weird angle, but that doesn't matter as long as the holes are in the right place, which they were installed, so they should be. We have that old winch that came with the, uh, you know, six by six Polaris, uh, but it was pretty crusty. It didn't have the controller switches somehow they were gone it was a 4500 pound this is a 5500 pound it's more premium synthetic rope uh you know as opposed to steel cable so that's a win it's got you know it's got all the stuff we need we'll probably just mount it up front because it's really not even that heavy honestly it's i don't know maybe 10 12 pounds something like that Got those holes drilled through both, as well as these ones here, because that just happens to, you know, line up with that. You don't turn my welder on for me. Yeah. thought I uh, finished the wiring in the last episode, but really this whole winch thing is just an excuse for me to trick you into watching me do more wiring. <laughs> wow, that was a terrible, evil laugh. Uh, yeah, anyway, now I have to wire the winch in. Won't take very long. It's only like a handful of wires. Clean, tidy. That's okay. nice. Now, I just have to hook up the little red wire back here to some sort of ignition power so that when you turn the ignition on, uh, it sends power to the witch. Um, so if you were just hook it up straight to the battery, it would uh, drain the battery. Would you just look at that? Mm. That is a juicy wheel. Uh, I had to get different sizes for the front and rear, and all of them stick out about an inch farther on each side, which is fine. A little more width, a little more stability, because, uh, yeah, it needed different offsets and stuff to match front and rear, but... So, right now we have four wheels and five tires. It, it really will fit with the body a lot more, because right now it's very obviously some crappy old ATV tires and wheels underneath of a mini truck. But with these, it'll tile all the
I mean, if it works, it works, right? I'm trimming off all the little hook things here off the bottom of the bed so they don't uh, mess up our new tires when we put them on. And while I'm in the process of trimming things, I'm gonna trim my beard with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit from Manscaped. Seems like a good intro. That's yeah. Fun. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit comes with all sorts of cool stuff. We got beard balm, beard conditioner, beard shampoo, beard oil, the Beard Hedger itself, cordless trimmer. It's also waterproof and super easy to clean. But probably the coolest feature is this adjustable guard with more than 20 settings. So you don't have to swap out like 20 different heads here. You just adjust the one that's on there. Also, my favorite, this brush. It's very soothing. Head over to manscaped.com and get yourself the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. And if you use code GHPC, you'll get free international shipping and 20% off your order. Now I'm gonna go back to trimming things off of the truck. Now that I've got the skid plate and the winch, but we're waiting on the new differential and the rest of our wheels and tires, um, I'm going to mess around with some shocks and see if I can get a better solution so it doesn't bottom out all the time. We have two of these, which are actually off of the front of the uh, Timber Quad, Polaris, you know, outlaw thing. And spring-wise, they're pretty light duty, but the shaft here is massive, like way thicker than what's on those shocks. So internally, they'd be plenty strong. I just need to find a better spring. I'm just gonna play around with shocks for a while and see what I come up with. shock. I'm really happy with that little nylon uh, spacer sleeve thing there. It makes everything fit right. It looks good. And it adds a little bit more potential preload. This is why you uh, have to be careful of loose clothing around rotating objects. Looks like it went down a little bit. For all of the times that everyone asked the question, the answer is yes. You can put front shocks from a Polaris Outlaw ATV with springs from the rear of a Polaris Ranger 6x6 onto the front of a Ranger 6x6 and get stiffer springs and better shocks. Steven and I came up here yesterday, battery was dead. Got it on the charger, put in some fresh premium gasoline. take off the ski, put the tire back on so we'll be half tracked and drive through the biggest mud puddle here and see what happens. I think it'll be nice. Put some rim protector in there, AKA a rag, AKA an old shirt.
Ethan, you might be onto something here. Oh, eight by eight. Hmm. Yes. This tire really did not want to go on the bead. And thanks to Will, we're out of brake clean, which is what I usually use to uh, expand them on there in an explosion fashion. Uh, so I'm just sitting here stretching it out. Well, you have a little trail to light. Oh. There we go. There she is. Perfect. A little easier than what we were trying yesterday. Just. Just smidgen easier. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta try something I saw on TikTok last night. Whoa. The things you learn from the University of TikTok. Uh, I never would have thought that was gonna work. I really didn't either, because I wouldn't have expected it to push the little thingy, but apparently it does. Look at that. Wow. Hey, That's... Will, you wanna have your mind absolutely exploded right now? Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> yeah. No. What the heck? That's amazing! I think the appropriate response is, what? No way! That's where I learned it, that dude on TikTok who's always going, what? No that's, way! That's a what the devil situation, though, after seeing one. I'll work on fixing that. Look what Doggo just found. Hey Bjorn, grab it, get it, get it, bring it here. Wow, you're useless. Go get it, get it. Bring it here. Come on, bring it here. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, you are not a retriever, that's for sure. Looks like he's been doing some shed hunting. Yeah, that look has already been chewed on by rodents. Rodents like to eat antlers for the minerals in them. We should put this on that project Will's working on. Yeah. Oh boy. Good job. It's Christmas. Our differential showed up and it looks brand new. I thought it said it was rebuilt, but um, I think that's brand new. So that's cool. Uh, just gotta throw a little fluid in it, slap it in there, and we'll have six wheel drive once again. Oh. Nice. This is a little something I learned from the University of TikTok the other night. TikTok? Yep. Uh, right, just regular pluggy plug, nothing in it. Okay. Right? I've wasted so much of my life looking think for about the how much time. Yeah, think about how much time I've wasted looking for them. Now we have a few of them, but back when we just... Is there a pokey thingy? No, it's just magic. I think the little inside bit fits just inside. I don't know. <sighs> wow, I never heard anyone actually learning something useful on TikTok before. Oh, I learn all sorts of useful things on TikTok. <laughs> I just see memes of people making Lego kits. Oh yeah, that's... I, I watch like six minute long videos explaining science and people inflating tires. We going through puddles? You sounded like Chappie. <laughs> Chappie is painting? It drifts way better too with the tires. <laughs> but it drifts. <laughs> yeah. These tires definitely have a little less traction, which is perfect because now we can drift. Also, the new suspension, so much better. I mean, I haven't hit any big bumps yet, but it's less, it doesn't dive all over the place. So uh, let's roll up these windows and go through the giant lake of a puddle over there. Holes in the floor. 
all of a sudden. It does. Ever since I went through the puddle the first time, it's sounded kind of like a mobile fart machine. <laughs> She doesn't want to go. Oh. Yeah, we heard it sounding a little. That's probably what's smoking, too. Yeah. It, <laughs> it needs a belt snorkel. It needs an engine snorkel and a belt snorkel because when it splashes that much, all the water just dumps into the belt drive and just lubricates it yeah. and then it don't go anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't hurt anything. No. It just means you lose track. You Well, you don't lose traction. You just lose the ability to go forward. No. belts are for. Well, turns out it's very not stable. But you know, had to find out somehow. Then so I felt small. it go past and I was like, oh no. And I had like a lot of time to be like, well, here we go. That was the slowest tip over I've ever seen. And you're just like, oh, I was like, oh, he's gonna recover. And then, nah, <laughs> it tipped. <laughs> If I'd given it a few more beans on the first try, I probably would have made it first try. Yeah, easily. I just kind of eased into it because I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but that was fun. I'm not going to go down it, though, because uh, woo, ah, might, yes. uh, might do an endo. We don't need to do that. Well, I was planning on doing this uh, before I knew that I was going to roll it, but it doesn't really matter. It still works. And now, if anything, there's less consequence because if I smash it up more, we already smashed up the body. Oh. The lens came off and it got wrecked. Oh. <laughs> got Rick rolled. How did that happen? I don't know. Man, the whole point of GoPros is they're destruct indestructible and we keep destructing them. Love it. It wasn't recording when I discovered it, but 
it's actually a uh, GoPro recommended um, washing tactic when the lens covers off to yeah. just like pour. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. All in there, all in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just go in backward. There's no reason to turn around, really. Sun went away. Yeah. Like, what the heck is that? This is looking like that is an icy, icy. Yeah, I'm thinking if we just get the boat out to here, set it down, then we can just kind of get a couple of us and stabilize it as we slide it down the yeah, slide so it down the ice. Ride it down here into the Absolutely oh, not. No. Not as wet as we did. Yeah, we got premium. I, I kept cover behind the tree, so I'm premiumly dry. <laughs> You kept your head off the ground, that was nice. You know how I got these premium waterproof boots? <laughs> yeah. The rest of me does not have that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Our I microphone is in a good situation. <laughs> the microphone's healthy. I literally looked behind me and there's, there's a giant blast going towards me. I saw it coming and I just closed my eyes. I knew it was going to be bad. <laughs> and he tried to walk away. I know. I was like, oh, I couldn't see anything in there. <laughs>
are just the best things we've ever built. In combination, you can't beat it. What a premium day. <laughs> oh, it was a really good day. I am very sad that we smashed this thing, but all in all, it could be a lot worse. Um, and as we said, the cab was never very premium. It had all sorts of dents and rust. And I mean, we didn't really show it, but that's rusted out. The floorboard under here is totally rusted out. So it's not like it was totally premium in the first place. And with a little bit of work on the roof line, we should be able to put a new windshield in it. And then honestly, it doesn't really look that bad. No, it like what looks smashed is the fact that the windshield is busted out. <laughs> yeah, and the but mirror. Once, like, and we could probably get a dent puller and pull some of this out. Oh yeah. Or maybe even hammer it from the inside. Anyway, you know, we can we can spruce it up a little bit, but I mean, overall, very minimal damage and extreme amounts of fun. Oh yeah. This thing is, it's so capable. In fact, the front suspension now is almost a little. It, it's not too stiff, but. It's, it's it's great. I mean, it, it handles the jump and stuff. So overall, it's really good. For just like cruising over bumps, it is a little clunky because the sh the springs are so stiff that when the front like unloads, they slam down. You can hear them go clunk, oh. clunk, because they just hit the bottom of the travel really fast because they're already pretty, you know, traveled out. They don't have much sag. So, uh, but otherwise, way better. I mean, massive improvement and they're super adjustable. So. If you were just cruising around and not worried about the fender rub as much, then you could soften them up. Yeah. But I mean, the wheels and tires look awesome. These tires have way less overall traction and soft terrain, but like for what we're doing with this thing, they're just, they're perfect. They and we still it, can always throw the old yeah, ones on if we're going mudding. Exactly. If we need to go mud bug and we can throw the old ones on or get even more aggressive mud tires. Yeah. And hey, we didn't blow up the diff today. <laughs> That is actually solidly a win. That's a win. Because <laughs> if we blew that up, then we'd need to like figure some stuff out. Yeah, but and I have some ideas. I could get one of the diffs from like a Razor 1000, which is supposedly a lot stronger, and I just have to flip it upside down, but then I have to make custom mounts, and you know, it might not even align right with all the stuff. So it it's a possibility in the future if we blow this one again, but I want to build another one already. Let's do it. Me but, too. But... <laughs> The next one is going to be like a foot wider <laughs> so that it's a little more stable because it's kind of this one's it's actually kind of fine that this one's not that stable for like high speed cornering because it doesn't go that fast but think if we'd done this with like a turbo r or whatever it'd be kind of sad for it to just be like faint and go yeah. every time you went around a corner so this thing's a beast and it's kind of essentially finished for now there's plenty of upgrades that could be done but it's it works it looks amazing i mean well, it needs a new windshield. <laughs> that would have been the rear. You Here's just want your tire prints in the yeah. sand. Oh yeah, there's a whole case truck the right tire, here. Yeah. You got your <laughs> tire, the bed. Here's the front of the, the cab here. This is like archaeology. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeet.